Hi everyone, welcome back to Little Gymnast at Home. My name's Ruth and I'm going to be your coach for today's session. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, this is our fourth session so far uh, and today we're going to be working on our balances, so all different types of balances. Now for some of them you will definitely need a mat or something soft. Uh, so make sure you have that to hand. Um, you won't need it for all the exercises, but for some of them you will. Okay, so the format's going to be, we'll do our pulse raiser, we'll do our stretches, we'll do lots of challenges, and then we'll finish with a little sequence at the end. Okay, let's get started. So, our pulse raiser today is going to get you nice and warm and out of breath. So, you are going to need a little bit of space. And basically, you're going to do heel flicks around your space. I'll show you what they are in a moment. And then I'm going to call out four different instructions. So the first instruction is um, a, pe a pencil jump. So when I say pencil, you're going to do a jump like this. With your arms straight up in the air. The next instruction is going to be star. So you're going to do a star jump like this and the next instruction is going to be squat. So you're going to squat down to the floor, make sure that your bottom is right down onto your heels and come back up again. And the last one is going to be lie down. So you're just going to lie down on the floor, arms up above your head and then stand up again. Okay, so your heel flicks are going to look like this. So you can move around your space, kicking your heels like this. Okay, off you go. Ooh, do I have to do it at the same time? Okay, kicking those heels all the way around your space. And pencil. Okay, and then keep kicking your heels. Well done. And squat. So keep going, keep kicking those heels all the way around your space. This is a test for me. Star, kicking those heels, nice and springy. Pencil, keep kicking, nice and springy. Windy out there today. Lie down. Squat, well done. Trying not to breathe too heavily. Pencil jump, kick in. Well done. Squat, all the way down. And squat, keep kicking. Toes and set the ceiling, come down and up, stretch. 
stretching that neck nice and gently. Okay, we're going to look one side and the other, and the other, and the other. The shoulders are shrug, and big circles back and forward. And then a big stretch up. Try and make sure those arms are straight and behind. And we're going to see if we can go over the top. Try and keep your legs straight and up. And over the top. Good. Okay. And grab a hand. And you're just going to pull gently. And this way. And this way. And this way. And then we're going to go over the top. And up. And reach. And up. And reach. And a big stretch up to the ceiling. And see if you touch the floor without bending your leg. All the way up, and down, and up, and down. And then we're going to go front, middle, behind. Front, middle, behind. Front, middle, behind. Make sure you can keep your legs nice and straight. Okay, feet together. I'm going to crouch down, and I'm going to lift our bottoms in the air and see if we can get our legs straight. Try and keep your hands flat. You ready? One, two, three, and lift. Hold it there if you can. Just feel it pulling on the back of your legs. Well done, keep holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. Brilliant. Your legs also shake. Okay, hands on your hips. Big circles. And the other way. And then out to the side, tiny circles. I'll go bigger and bigger and we'll try to brush our ears and then forward, try and brush those ears, big stretches. That's it. And then one forward, one back if you can. Good. And the other way. Super. Okay. So we're going to sit in straddle now. And make sure your legs are nice and straight and your toes are pointed. And we're going to reach over our toe, and up, and reach, and reach, and stretch, and then out to the front, and go as far as you can. Put your hands flat on the floor, and then you're going to slide your hands as far as you can, without letting your knees come up like this. So try and keep your knees on the floor, and go as far as you can. That's it, and hold it. So when you're as far as you can, see if you can go two more steps. I'm, I'm a bit old for this one, I can't really do this one anymore. Okay. And good. Okay, give your legs a shake. And then stretch forward. Big stretch up to the ceiling. And then see if you can touch your toes. Excellent. Well done. Grab your feet. And you're going to see if you can take them for a little walk. Try and keep hold of those toes. And if you've still got hold of them, you're going to see if you can bring your chest down towards your knees and hold it there. Hold it. Good. Okay, and cross your foot. And we're going to circle our ankle. And then the other one. And we're going to point one and stretch. And then stretch both and point both. Stretch both and point both. Stretch both and point both. And then onto your hands and knees. Put your hands flat and then you're going to stick your bottom in the air and push your armpits down to the floor. My dog does this one. And then push your hips down to the floor. And squeeze and then push your armpits down. And then your hips. Good. Okay. Just a little shake and then we'll get our spaghetti and meatballs and some cheese and some ketchup. Okay, lovely, right, our favourite. So we're going to do our splits. So take a leg, put your foot out nice and straight in front of you so your foot is in front of your knee. Now you're going to stretch forward like this, hold the stretch. That's it, and then stretch back so your 
leg is straight. Put your hands down if you need to. Try and bring your chest down to your knee. And stretch like this again. And like this. Okay, now from here, one hand by the side and you're going to slide your back knee out behind you as far as you can. Oh. Try and get your back knee under you and you're trying to get your hips nice and straight facing the front. Go as far as you can and hold it. Hold it. Ow. <laughs> Good. Okay. The more you practice split, the better you'll get. So you get up onto your knees again, take your other leg, make sure it's nice and straight. And stretch like this. And then stretch. And hold. Okay, one hand by the side. And you're going to slide your back leg out as far as you can. I can't go very far on this one. And hold it. You should hold it for 10 really. 10, 9, 8, 7, ow, 6, 5, put your front toe, 4, 3, ow, 2, 1. Hold on. You definitely count faster when you have to do it yourself. Okay, give your legs a shake. Brilliant. Right, we're ready to get started now. Okay, brilliant. So we are going to get started now and today we're going to work on our balances. So we're going to do a variety of different balances and we're going to start off with easier ones and then move on to harder ones. Okay, the thing to remember about balancing is really squeezing your body is going to help using your toes to grip the mat and your hands if it's a, a balance with your hands and squeezing your body tight so the tighter you are the easier it is to balance and really try and keep that head nice and still and straight as well okay so the first balance we're going to do is quite an easy one and um, we're going to go into our space and you're going to basically um, put your arms out to the side and point your foot forward and go this way. And we're going to lift our leg up, we're going to find a spot on the wall to have a look at, and we're going to see if we can hold it for 10 seconds. So it's quite hard, you've got to squeeze your leg nice and tight. So, shall we see if you can make sure you're squeezing the mat with your toes as well? So, arms out to the side and lift, and we're going to hold it for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay. Ooh. All right. So try it with one leg. Shall we see if we can try it with the other one? So put your foot out in front of you, your other leg. Now you'll find you're usually better with one leg than the other. Arms out to the side, and we're going to squeeze and lift the other leg up. Are we ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you. 
can do it on the other leg. Okay, point that toe out, arms up to the side, and ready, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Ooh, I look to the side there, let me make me wobble. Okay, so in those balances, you're really using your feet to grip, and you can probably feel yourself shaking a little bit. That was excellent, well done. Okay, well done. So the next balance we're going to have a go at is um, quite a tricky one. So you need to be nice and strong in your legs. You might not be able to do it first time, so it might take you a little while to get this one. Um, it's called a T-balance. It's on our uh, British Gymnastics badges and a lot of the children do find it quite tricky. So we'll have a go and see how we get on. So basically, you need to go into your space and you're trying to make a capital T shape with your body. So you need to pick whichever leg you like to um, work with. Now, this is unusual because I like to work my right leg, but I don't really want to lift my right leg up because I find that I balance better on my right leg. So I'm going to stand on my right leg, and I'm actually going to lift my left leg. Um, and then what we have to do is we have to so we put our leg out to the side, arms up like this, and you're actually going to lean over, I'm going to lean over to this side, and I'm going to lift this leg up as close to my hand as I can get it. So I should look like I'm in a T-shape if I'm doing it properly. Okay, so we're going to go out to the side like this, and then we have to lift our leg like this, and lean over to the side, and see if you can hold that one. Okay, so I will pause the video here and have a little practice and see if you can do it. You will need to lean over to the side, squeeze your body, and we're trying to get this leg as close to our hand as we can. Okay, so go away, have a little practice, see how long you can hold that one for. Okay, so that was a tricky one. Well done if you managed to do that one. Um, we are going to have a go at a different type of balance now. Now this one is also a letter. This one's called a Y scale. Now this is tricky for another reason. It's not necessarily strength with this one, it's more your flexibility. So you have to really probably be able to do the splits to be able to do this one properly. But we'll have a go. So you're basically making a capital Y. So I'm not even sure if I can still do this. Okay, so we're standing on, this time I'm going to balance on my left foot and I'm going to lift my right leg up because my right leg is more flexible. So I've got a better chance of being able to do it if I lift my right leg. So I've got to stand on one foot and then you're basically going to lift this leg up till you can grab hold of your heel of your foot and then you're trying to bring your leg up here to make a Y shape. Let's have a go. So I've got hold of my heel, kind of, and I've got to lift my leg up, and we're trying to get into this Y shape like this. Oh gosh, that's hard. And then once you get up into the Y shape, you've got to hold it. So see, pause the video, and you'll probably need a few practices that one, and see how long you can hold it for. Okay, well done. So we're gonna move on to the next one now. This is a strength exercise. So this is a side support. So it's kind of like a front support, but you're on this side. Um, we're gonna see if we can hold this one for 10 seconds on each side. Okay, so you need to get yourself into your space and you're kind of in this position where your legs are out to the side and you've got one on top of the other and your hands here, nice and strong, and you're going to push up, you're going to lift your hip off the floor and see if you can get yourself into a straight line. Okay, you're ready. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, Now this will probably be harder, this is 
my worst hand. Okay, so put your other hand out and you're going to do exactly the same. I'll see if we can hold for 10. Try and squeeze that body, use your fingers to grip the mat. Are we ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten. Well done. Ooh, well done. Okay, brilliant. Okay, well done with that one. So the next one we're gonna try is a shoulder stand. So you just need to make sure that you are in the right position for this one. So we're trying to get nice and straight in a vertical position. So you wanna make sure that your toes are up towards the ceiling, not behind you over your head. So that will pull you over and it'll let your bottom will dip. So we want to try and get nice and straight. Um, you'll need to squeeze your body. So I'm going to show you the stages to get up and we're going to see if you can have a practice and see if you can hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, so we need to start off like this and then we're going to rock backwards and see if we can hook our hands underneath our back. So you're trying to lift your bottom up into the air and hook your hands under your back. If you do it this way first, it's easier to get up into a straight position. So keep your legs bent to start with. So you're going to rock back like this and see if you can hook your hands under your back. So your bottom is right in the air and your back is nice and flat. Okay, and we're in a really good position now to lift our legs up. So we're trying to lift our feet towards the ceiling and we're trying to get as straight as we can. Don't let your legs do this. Oh, your bottom will come down and your feet come over your head and it will tip you over. So we need to try and use our core to try and get vertical. Okay, if you can do that, see if you can do it without your hands. So we're going to drop our hands down to the floor like this and see if you can hold that one. See if you can do it for 10 seconds. Ooh, off you go. Okay, well done with your shoulder stands. So we're going to have a go now at um, a headstand. Now this is one you either love them or hate them. Now this is the one where you need to make sure you have a mat or something soft to put your head on because you can't put your head on anything too hard. We can't do too many of these because it does hurt our head so we need to make sure that we're not practicing too many of them. I'm going to show you the position to get into. If you can't do it straight away, you might need to go away and practice. We need to have quite a strong core to be able to do this. So don't worry if you can't do it first time. Okay, so basically you're going to kneel down and you need to get your hands shoulder width apart. So that's the width of your shoulders and you need to spread your fingers out like this. Okay, and you're going to put your hands on the floor, shoulder width apart in front of you. Okay, so you should be able to look down and see your fingers spread apart. Okay, now we're going to put our head in a position to make a triangle. Make sure that you have a mat in front of you as well, just in case you tip over. Alright, so you're going to put your head in a triangle. So my head is going to go here. So it might feel quite unusual, but it needs to go in a triangle position. So just have a go at making a triangle shape. So my head's going to go here and it's sort of towards the front of your head. Okay? Not your forehead, but it's the top of your head that's just towards the front. Okay. And then just give yourself a little rest. Because it does make your head ache a little bit when you put it on the floor for too long. Okay, brilliant. Right, so this time... You're going to put your head on the floor and we're going to go up onto our toes like this. Okay, and up onto your toes like that. And just feel that position. You should have plenty of weight on your hands, uh, not just your head. Okay, come down. Brilliant. Give your head a little pat. Okay, right. Hands like this. We're going to try it this time. We're going to go up onto our toes. We're going to walk our feet towards our hands. 
until we are in a vertical position. You need to make sure that you've still got plenty of weight on your hands. Your hands should be gripping onto the mat. So you have to put my head down, up onto our toes, and then walk your toes forward until you feel that your bottom is in the air and your back is vertical. Okay, come down. We can't hold this on for too long because it does hurt your head. Okay, right. So this time, if we feel we can, we're going to try and lift our feet off the floor into a tuck shape. So we're going to go keep our feet near our bottom and keep in a tuck shape. We're not going to straighten out just yet. You've got to be able to hold the tuck head stand first. All right, so hands like this, head down. And we're going to walk our feet in. Once we get to here, we're going to very gently see if we can lift our feet off the floor. And we're in a tuck. Okay. And then come down. Ooh. Okay. I'm not a great fan of headstands. Right. So have a little rest. Right. Now, not everyone can do that. So if you're struggling with that, that's one that you will need to practice. Do not try and straighten your legs until you can do it with bent legs and hold it for a few seconds. All that will happen is you will tip over. Okay, it's very important. So if you can do it with bent legs and you can hold it, you can then go on to straighten your legs. So we're going to basically go from a tuck shape and get our feet up towards the ceiling. All right. I'm going to say that you need to hold it for three in a tuck first, so before you can go up. So hands like this, head down, walk our toes in, lift our feet. One, two, three, and then we can go up. And you should have lots of pressure on your hands and the desk. Okay, you should be able to come down carefully without falling down. Okay, so there's some tips for you to practice. All right. Okay, well done with that one. So we are going to go on to a couple more balances now. Uh, these are quite tricky ones, so I've had to get someone to help me. So Aoife is going to demonstrate these for you. The first one is a straddle lever. So we need to get ourselves sat in a straddle position. Our hands are going to be in front of us and then we're going to see if we can lift our bottom and our legs off the floor. So shall we go over to Aoife to see if she can demonstrate these for us? Okay, thank you Aoife. So, Again, don't worry if you can't do it straight away, that is a tricky one. Aoife does a lot of training and she's very strong. Okay, so the same goes for this next one, which is a half lever. Okay, so this is a balance which is similar, but we're going in a pipe position. So when you sit yourself in a pipe position, you're going to put your hands either side of you. And then uh, you've got to try and lift your feet and your bottom off the floor again. So we'll go over to Aoife for the demonstration, then you can pause the video and see if you can have a go yourself, okay? Okay, thank you Aoife, they were brilliant. So we are going to move on to the next section now. So we're going to do our sequences, but this time we're going to do it slightly differently. Instead of me coming up with a sequence and you copying it and doing it that way, you are going to come up with your own sequences. And I would like you to try and include as many of those balances as you can. Make sure you're only doing the ones that you, you know you can do safely and properly. Um, and I want you to try, and when you're doing the balances, hold them for at least three seconds, okay? So just take your time and see if you can um, hold them for three. 
Um, make sure that when you do your sequence, you're trying to make it flow. So we're trying to make it look nice and smooth and each move links into the other one. So you need to think about things like if you need to get up to your feet, but you've been down on the ground, how are you going to get up? What are you going to do that doesn't look like you're just getting up off the floor like this? Oh, let's get up now. How are you going to get down onto the floor if you need to do something low? How are you going to link something from the side to the front? I want you to think about how you're going to link these things together and see if you can come up with your own sequence. Okay, so I'd like you to pause the video now and go away and practice. See how many of those balances you can include in your own sequence. Okay, brilliant. So I'm hoping that you've gone away and you've practiced your sequence and you've come up with some really, really good ideas. Now, because I don't know, I would love it if you could send in any videos of you doing those sequences so I can see some of your ideas and see how creative you've been. Okay, so that's the end of the session today. Hope you've enjoyed it. You might find that you're aching a little bit tomorrow because um, some of the balances, we were really squeezing our legs. Um, so that just means you're, you're working your muscles and that they're getting stronger. All right, brilliant. Have a good week and I'll see you next week. Bye.